Hi, y'all. I'm Jeff. And I'm Becky. And together we're cruising good time. So one of my friends was discussing all the chat on the internet about folks being on cruises and getting huge, like hundreds of dollars in roaming charges. She wanted us to make a video on the subject, and she had a relative who had difficulties understanding the difference between the Wi-Fi, where you can utilize everything that's on your app for the ship, and having the Wi-Fi where you can get on the internet. Right. Yeah, that's pretty confusing for a lot of people, and we're going to get down to the weeds here and kind of explain the difference but basically a, a firewall difference between the two packages. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely adore using the ship's app. It allows you to make dining reservations, to look at all the different activities and itineraries and things on board the ship. Uh, some will have different maps where you can tell where you are, where you want to go, be able to chat with friends. The different things on apps varies from cruise line to cruise line, but they're useful on, on all the ships. So let's get down into it and see how we connect to the internet and save some roaming charges. So one thing to keep in mind, and this is very important right at the top, connecting to the ship, connecting your phone to the ship is not the same as connecting to the Wi-Fi internet using an internet package or a per day rate. There is a big difference between the two. To connect to the ship, there is no charge uh, for you to connect it up. It allows you to use your app on board. It allows you to order drinks, allows you to uh, do shore excursions, activities, dining reservations, all that stuff. You just will not be able to connect to the internet. If you buy a Wi-Fi package or you pay a day rate for the Wi-Fi package, then you are able to connect to the internet. The ship's firewall will allow you to go through it and contact the internet. And you can upload pictures to Facebook or Instagram or send videos to YouTube and uh, allows full access of that. You can also get the access of just having everything that you would get for free connecting it to it. Both of these systems use the Wi-Fi on your phone. And I think that's a point of confusion for a lot of folks is that it's Wi-Fi to connect to the ship and then there's a firewall that lets you go further on. When you get on board, you'll have some documentation to do it. This one's from Princess because this is the last cruise I was on. And you can see they have very clear instructions here to how to connect to it, which is, first of all, put their, your phone in airplane mode, connect it to the local Medallion net, network, and then you either log into a, a web page and authenticate with your booking number or cabin number and date of birth, or you can just use the app to authenticate that way. In this other column, you can see they have the Medallion net Wi-Fi. This is their Wi-Fi package they offer for you to get to the internet. So in this case, they have a couple different flavors. You can connect one device. You get that with a Princess Plus. You can connect four devices, which you get with Princess Premier. So once you're connected to the ship, either way, you're, you're both connected to the ship or to the internet. If you bought an internet plan, the ship will automatically grant you access to the internet. If you don't have an internet plan, don't worry about it because you're just still connected to the ship. You can still do all the activities on the ship and you won't incur any internet fees because you haven't bought that uh, internet package. So looking at the app here, we can see how to, I'll walk you through how to go through this. The first thing you wanna do is go to the control panel and switch phone onto airplane mode. And then after that, you'll wanna turn on the Wi-Fi by pushing the blue Wi-Fi button. You can see I go back to the home page. We open up the Princess app. Here we are in the Princess app and we'll scroll down to the bottom of that because that's where the best Wi-Fi at sea is. And then you can see we have the Regal Princess and right there we can see at the bottom how to connect to the Wi-Fi. We get the exact same uh, Wi-Fi instructions here that we pretty much got at the uh, piece of paper. They do add a couple key points here that I found to be useful. It helps if you turn off the private Wi-Fi addresses and to limit the uh, IP address tracking on board. And another key thing is uh, turn off any VPNs that you have on your phone because then it won't be connected to the ship. It'll just tunnel right through the firewall and go, go out. We have another video that you may find useful about how to use a Princess app and a link to that is at the top of the screen. Here are some tips on how to save money. And the first one is, anytime you're on a ship, put your phone in airplane mode. It'll save you a lot of money over, over the long run because you're not going to get any roaming charges that way. If you're not doing internet on Wi-Fi on board the ship, 
You may be able to use your phone uh, carrier plan while in port. Many carriers offer international roaming charges fees that can be added on to your monthly bill, and some offer a day rate for uh, in- international calling. For example, I use AT&T. I get usage in both uh, Canada and in Mexico. And then if I'm overseas somewhere in Europe, I can pay a $10 a day rate to use my phone while I'm in a port. And it has the same privileges that I have uh, here in the States, which is basically unlimited data and texting. If you're using a Wi-Fi plan on board, uh, your cell phone may still be faster in port, basically 5G versus a regulated bandwidth. Well, what's a regulated bandwidth? When you go through the firewall, they're going to regulate everybody's bandwidth so everybody gets to go on the internet and somebody doesn't get squeezed out by uh, somebody using a, a lot of data coming through, like some YouTuber uploading a YouTube video. Um, you can also uh, find that some cruise lines will allow you to change what device is connected to the internet, for example, switch from phone to a computer. Princess Cruise Lines will do this. So I can just get a single one. I can have my phone going. If I need to upload a YouTube video, I can switch it over to my computer, get done with that, bring it back to the phone so I have all the access to the day's activities on my phone. I don't have it listed here, so if you're still watching and listening, you uh, another way to kind of save some money or save some time at least, is I've found that when I'm connected my computer to the ship and I'm using a Nord VPN, go through to tunnel out to the internet to upload a video to YouTube, it goes a lot faster than what it does if I go through the ships because it gets around that regulated bandwidth that we're talking about a minute ago. So I hope uh, you gathered one of the main takeaways is always keep your phone on airplane mode. Yes, always do that. If you're on board the ship, you have your phone on airplane mode, you will not get any (laughs) Roman charges. Thank you so very much for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. It really helps the algorithm find us. (laughs) Until next time, have a cruising good time.